Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, this is a two-part tutorial series on how to do the splatter effect or dispersion effect inside of Photoshop, and then bring it over to After Effects to animate like the credits that you see on the screen right now. So what I did was I took actual frames from the film and then cut out our actors and then uh, add a splatter effect on them in Photoshop and then I went After Effects and did all that nice animation that you see. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial you can download these images in the description um, but I'll only be doing one image so I mean if you want to recreate the credits that's great it's a great learning experience and ultimately this stuff is awesome so let's get right into it. Since I pulled frames from the actual film we're gonna to have to cut out our actors so I'm gonna go to the pen tool then I'm just going to go ahead and create a mask around our talented actor here. Um, it's okay if it's not perfect. I mean, it's not going to be noticeable. So just try to get as close as possible. I know this could be a tedious process, but um, just don't worry about it if you have, if you're not perfect. Don't worry about it if you're not perfect. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so now I'm going to click mask. And there we go, we cut him out of the uh, entire image. So now we can begin doing the splatter effect. Also, his left side isn't perfect, but that's okay because this effect is basically going to just make that unnoticeable. What I like to do is to uh, work in a non-destructive edit workflow. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer by hitting Command-J on a Mac. I'm um, going to turn off this bottom layer. And let's get down to splattering. Let's go ahead and make him disperse. So I'm going to go to the Brush tool. I'm going to drop down and I'm going to go to my splatter brushes. If you don't have any splatter brushes, just search up um, free Photoshop splatter brushes all over Google. There's a whole bunch and just go ahead and start working with that. I'm going to grab my first splatter brush over here, take it down in size a bit. Then I am going to go over to the layer here and I'm going to click add a layer mask. And this will basically allow us to erase images um, of our actor here. So I'm going to just click and you see he starts to go away. So I'm just gonna click in a bunch of areas. I'm gonna change up the brush size and go to different brushes so we can get a whole random effect. Yeah, so basically you just wanna click in a whole bunch of different areas. You know, you wanna get around the sides of him. Just get as much places as you want. Um, and don't worry about overdoing the effect. I mean, just really make it look good. Okay, that looks great. So now let's go ahead and add our actual splatter images into the frame here. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer. And then I'm going to go to the brush tool. I'm going to go ahead and pick a new uh, splatter. And make sure you're on white. Um, and I'm going to size it down by using the bracket keys. And just basically <laughs> to paint back into there. You might want to change up your brush you know, a little bit more than you did for your uh, actual erase effect just because these are going to be a little bit more noticeable. And you go ahead and change the size variation. You want a good amount of these. Um, don't be afraid to overdo the effect. Okay, that looks just about okay. I'm going to see what this looks like on a black background. Okay, see, what I want to do is I actually want to add a little bit more... Uh, I want to cut a little bit more out of him, so I'm going to go ahead and click back on to the layer that we were doing all the erasing on. Um, and then make sure I have layer max selected and then I'm just go ahead and continue to cut a little bit more out of him. Basically if you feel like you didn't do enough of erasing you can just go back and uh, do some finishing touches but this looks actually pretty good so it's time to jump over to After Effects. Um, so uh, we have to do a couple things before we go over to After Effects. Uh, one thing we have to export this as a PNG on a transparent background and then we also have to uh, export some individual splatter brushes. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and export this. So my computer just crashed. So I had to pull up my old file. So um, it's basically the same thing, just a little bit differently edited. Everything's going to be different. So I'm just going to go ahead and export this as a PNG, save for web, and just click PNG. Now you want to create a new layer. Go back to the brush tool. Uh, make sure you're using white and then just click and then you want to export this individual splatter as a PNG and then you want to do that two more times so you have 
um, multiple splatters to work with as you can see here these are splatters we'll be working with and so you just want to export those separately so we can animate them inside of After Effects okay so now that's done let's jump right over to After Effects mm -hmm. 